What's up, everyone? Thanks for joining us again for another episode of Art Survival Evolved, playing on our Eternal Isles modded server. So, we have been busy between now and the last episode. Um, we did tame a Shinehorn. It was level 600. It was cute, so I wanted to tame it. Uh, Eternal Dodic for Eternal Eggs. Eternal Dodo, not Dodic. Eternal Dodo for for Eggs. Um, we went ahead and we found ourselves a Poison Tape Jar. And been using that to knock out Dinos. But we've been experimenting with <laughs> Prime Pteranodons. So, this is a prime pteranodon that we leveled up all the way, right at max level. It was only about 500 or so when we tamed it, but we tamed it up, leveled it up, maxed it out with its points. And then we went ahead and we tamed another one. But as you can see, this one's a prime poison pterodon. And there was a new mechanic that I wanted to try out. And that was the result right there. So, for that particular guy, we also found this Prime Mantis that uh, was 600. We tamed that. <laughs> so, that guy's there. Um, opportunist to tame. And then, lastly, there's a Robot Stego. Um, this was something we used the. Uh, uh, poison tape jar to tame it took a good bit of time being especially being that the issue with those um, lower health compared to the amount of toe part that they have so but today I kind of want to talk about the pterodons so apparently you can evolve these guys to something else Payan Prime and to do it you need these gems here so the the poison pterodon we needed 50 of the green gems in order to evolve it I want to see if it's the same with the red gems and the blue gems especially the red gems because I'd like to get a, f a fire variant if that's a thing so we got 50 of each and what we're gonna do Actually, let's just go ahead and make saddles. We're going to need them, so we might as well just go ahead and make them. Um, we need pterodon saddles. We need alpha pterodon saddles. So, pterodon. Let's go ahead and make that. Oh, that's raptor. Okay. Make another one. And we'll go ahead and uh, upgrade it also, both of these, while we're at it. We do have a good bit of Dino Hearts because we've been killing a lot of things. So that is something that we've been collecting along with other resources. But let's go ahead and do both of these. I'm not worried about maxing them out right now. We'll just get them up to ascended grade. So 193, 145, 193, 171. So. Uh, we could augment it, which we have the th stuff to do that. We have enough. There we go, right here. We have enough of the armor reagents to do it. We could augment it, get it up to 325. Right now, we just want to have some decent saddles. Now, this one I think was 580 when I tamed it, and this one was only like 540. So, what you have to do is you have to put a saddle on it because you have to be able to ride it, ride it in order for this to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this one first. So throw the 50 gems in there, like so. And then, excuse me, while you still mount it, you hit control and that starts the evolution process. Now, I have heard that you need to pull everything out of the inventory because if it's in the inventory, something's in the inventory, they may lose it during the evolution. 
And I don't know if that's the same with the saddle or not, but I'll go ahead and take the saddle off as well. So it's doing an evolution. Evolving. And it should be evolving into... That was the blue gem, so that should have been a lightning, possible lightning variant. Yes. So now we have a prime lightning pterodon. Go ahead and chill. Chill, buddy. Yeah, go ahead and land. Um, also, if you level up the prime pterodon and then evolve it, it's going to reset the level. So if you know you want to evolve a pterodon to uh, an element, um, just save your time. Don't worry about uh, leveling it up at that moment. Go ahead and do your evolution and then worry about leveling it afterwards because you're going to lose the levels anyway. So Now, if we do this one, control, and it does not seem to be working. So we, we did a lightning one. So the red crystals may not work. Hmm. Interesting. It would be nice to do a fire one. If that's possible. No. Nope. Not getting a control evolution. Well. We have another prime pterodon at the moment. Hmm. Okay, so we'll we'll just go ahead and park him. I'll have to look into that and see what that's about. But this one should now act with the element of lightning associated with it. So there is no control like laser beam or excuse me, anything. Um C is the barrel roll, X is nothing, right click is the pickup, everything that's normal with a pterodon, and then uh, left click is your ability. So, I need to find something with some decent. I want to see if these guys do electric topar, like a lightning dino wood. Because the poison. Pterodon does really good poison so far. Just need something. Just need something. Hmm. Where'd everybody go? There's some stuff here. Nothing really strong, though. Oh, let's see. Can I try it now? There we go. There's another prime. Can I get a level on it though? This one's got 93k, 540. So yeah, it does so far. Not shabby, not too shabby. So let's see what it does to a prime. Because the one thing I've noticed with the primes is that uh, they take reduced topar from the regular poison guys. They don't seem to. Like, if you did 100,000 topar normally to most dinos, if you did it to a prime, you might not do 100,000 topar because they have kind of like a protection from it, I guess. I hit him, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, how much are we doing with the shock? 130. That's going to knock him out. Interesting. Very interesting. And we're hitting for 11,000. Okay. So, I'm going to probably grab some more red gems because I want to see if we can do a fire one. Uh, this might take a minute, but I'll kill it for the levels. Good barrel roll, but I don't want to go in the water. There we go. So that's a good bit of topar that it's doing for a lightning. Now, my poison one, I have 255 points of melee damage in it. 
it's max melee. And when I hit something, like I hit a prime even with it, it uh it does like ninety some odd thousand damage, but it's doing almost two million topar to a dino. So it's been really nice for um knocking out primes for sure. Let's go ahead and grab even more red crystals. I don't know what we're going to need, but let's just see if this is even something as possible. Maybe it needs more, maybe it doesn't. We're going to try it, though. It just, it seems weird that you can't do it, if that's the case. I mean, I'm... Control? Nope. Still not... So not doing it. Well. Hmm. I guess I'll have to investigate that some more. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Or maybe you can't do it. But we can turn it into a poison and we can turn it into a lightning. Uh, I would have liked to have had a fire one. Because that would have been cool to have a fire effect plus doing a good bit of damage. So this guy does, on a barrel roll, like a little over 300 at the moment. And uh, this one's doing in the high twos on a barrel roll. And it's doing about 97 on a peck. And this one's doing over 100,000 on a peck. This one just does straight damage. This one does the damage plus a topar effect. And this one's going to do a damage plus a topar effect. It has some really cool colors. Look at that. I think I'm going to level this up max it out. I have a little spot that I like to go to uh, get levels. Um, we also made teleporters. And we have a controller so we can just pop around wherever we want. And so I've been placing little teleporters around different areas. So you can see uh, Boomin's on here playing with on his server and on. We're linked up in a tribe and he has a couple places already. I've got a couple places. I even found a new home base location. So we'll probably check that out today. But I want to at least go to the desert and level up this uh, pterodon. And then we'll see how much damage it's doing and how much topor it does with its shock ability. And see if it's doing any better than that guy over there. Because there's still some dinos that have lower health, but tons of topar. So, this guy is going to be useful for those. But if this guy, I don't know, we'll see. I, we'll see what it is. So, let me go do some leveling, I'll max him out, and then I'll be back. Alright, so we're back. Um, maxed out the melee, we still have some levels to do. But, I like to come out here in the desert and kill the Prime Mantis and the Alpha Mantis. And it gets me leveled up pretty quick. So what we're going to do is see how much damage we're doing to this Prime Manus. And it has 1.7 million Topar. So we'll see how much Topar we do also when we hit it. So 127,000 on the damages. Now we need to see what kind of Topar rise we've got going on. Let's see how it compares to the Poison one. Hmm, that's not a good sign so far. I mean, he's not bad. It's really good. But I'm doing 120-something thousand damage. And, uh... Yeah. See, the poison one, I can just run down there, peck him like that, do 90-something thousand damage, and it'll do 1.6 to 1.8 topar. It varies, but it's in that... Almost like I have to hit it one time range. So now on a barrel roll, 355. So we're doing this guy go sleepy, nighty night. Yep, get wrecked. Get all the levels we can. So let's see if we can find another prime. We'll verify that and see if, uh, if that was a one time thing or if that's actually what we're looking at about a million there we go 1.6 oh, there we go we hit it a 
how much damage are you gonna do? I mean, Topar, are you gonna do? 1.2. See, no, it went higher this time. 1.3. The poison one still seems to be doing better though. Can we hit? That was 1.9. That's a perfect 600. See, with the poison one, I had 1.9 million on that one that I tamed. I hit it one time, it went up to like 1.7. And then I had to hit it one more time. See, 1.6. So maybe it's just dependent on the hit. I don't know. Because that's, that's a good bit. But so far, <clears throat> but the to the poison one is doing less damage. That is the one thing to to keep into consideration. So this actually, I think, would be good. Ow! Stop it! If I had a flyer that I wanted to knock down, because the lightning ability just immobilizes. And, uh, so this would be good, I would think, for that. To peck on, knock him down, make it fall to the ground. And then, depending on how much Topar it had, you know, depends on how many other times we had to peck it. But, so we're doing it, it's done a million, it's done a million three, it's done a million six. Um, we could try to find one more prime out here. Um, because that's what I'd really be using this one as primes. Now, these guys here are, are weird because I, I want you to see this. 20. Oh, actually, he's not. He's fine. He's poison, buddy. What about you? How are you? There we go. That's weird. 216,000 health, 19 million topar. Like, I'd be able to tame this guy for sure, no problem. But this one here. Uh, that was, that'd be darn near impossible. Just as his health is way too low for a amount of topar he has. And then uh, I saw the same thing with a lightning vari variant of that Ravager. To where it, it was the same way. Low, low health versus the amount of topar it has. Oops. We didn't mean to do that. Well, it should still hit for about the same topar because... Uh, the barrel roll and the peck do the same amount of topar. Just the barrel roll does more damage. So again, we're doing 1.6. So, I mean, it's doing comparable to the poison one. Just the poison one is uh doing a little bit less damage when I peck. So both of these are going to have their uses. Like I said, if I'm trying to tame a prime flyer for sure, or a flyer in general that has enough health that can handle it and uh, I need to do a lot of topar this guy here would would work great on that just because it would immobilize it and make it land wherever it was at I wouldn't have to worry about the poison one it does topar just like this one does it, you saw how it builds up so whenever you hit something they're still moving until that topar catches up and then knocks them out so this one will definitely have its uses. Uh, I should be able to max out now, I believe. Um, I'll just do 10k because movement speed I've been putting up to like 225, and then everything else has been pretty much going into in the health. So <clears throat> looks like it does still have a few more levels, but we're at 3.7 million health, so that is pretty good. Now. I want to go scout. My area that I want to build in. We'll look at that. And then maybe, just maybe, we'll look at some other things that uh in that area that might find something worth knocking out and taming. I did gamma down because it's so bright in this area and it washes out the colors, makes it look kind of uh so I think I went gamma 1.5 so it's a little bit darker otherwise it just be bright really bright okay I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the base we're gonna grab I like grab the uh the poison prime pterodon and bring that one out 
and I can show you. I've been telling you what it does. I can show you what it does. I did check on the um, evolutions and uh, looked at the the guide or the wiki, or whatever. And it turns out there isn't a fire variant. It is only the lightning and the poison for the pterodons. And apparently, you can do the same thing with the allosaurus, but um, fire is not a thing. So, I was hoping it might be. I was just thinking maybe uh, having a really cool prime pterodon that uh, did elemental fire damage would be nice, but turns out it's not a thing. So, um, we can squirt that back in there. Did he grab any prime? I don't think he did. Okay. This one will probably just max out because that's the highest level pterodon that we've tamed so far. I think it was a 580 and um we'll see if we can get more than 303 damage out of out of it because that's what we're getting out of that one but let me go clear my inventory a little bit we'll take this guy out for a spin i'll show you the area that i'm thinking about building in and then uh yeah we'll go from there so i'll be our beast all right so one thing too i wanted to show you i've been making i've been making these for my dino to uh heal them up when they're in battles and it works really well instant heal does a hundred percent that's great for the dinos but there is this right here that you can make in the eternal workbench that it heals your right ridden dino from your hot bar or heals you if you're not riding a dino and it heals 50 percent of their or your max hp with a 30 second cooldown and it's it's like instantaneous so uh, fifty percent of your HP or your dino's HP, and it could be on your hot bar. This you have to actually kind of go into the inventory and uh, use it in the inventory. But I've been liking; it's really cheap. It's uh, if you go into here, you go into I think it's potions, and this is it right here: HP potion. Um, this is the same thing, but I think it makes it at a hundred percent of your HP. So it costs a little bit more, double the resources. Um, I may make some more of those, I don't know. I've been really just using these for myself um, because I do have this here. And these are really cheap to make. I think it's just Mejos and um, Mejos and the Mushroom. What's that? Let's see, Dino Heal. Yeah, Rare Mushrooms. So Mejos and Rare Mushrooms, really cheap for the Dinos. This one takes a little bit more. It takes crystal, ingots, organic polymer, and a regeneration potion. And the regeneration potion is just rare flower. So that in itself is really not bad at all. Just five rare flowers. This is one rare mushroom and 20 mejos for that. And it's done. You got to make one of these, add some crystal, ingots, and organic polymer to it. So, yeah, and either way, these I've been using a lot for myself, though. I still, I made one of these here as well. I just haven't used it yet. It's supposed to make every creature ignore you for five minutes. So it's something I have to try out, but I haven't tried yet. And then we did get some of these potions from killing stuff that are uh, right there. As you can see, we have um, poison eraser right there, removes topar, uh, agility potion. We may, we need to start carrying some of these with us just in case. Um, we have had instances where we've um, knocked something out to tame it, and then something else came in and bit on it, and so it messed up our tame and effectiveness. So we would need this right here to remove its uh, topar. So um, I'm not going to carry it around with me right now, but it's something that we're probably going to start carrying around with us. I thought we had some more potions than that. Maybe not. Anyway. Oh, now I can get him up. Game three. Let's grab our pterodon. Since we are ready to go now. Oh, scratch one of us. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and teleport over to the area that we're thinking about building in. Right here. It says home base, but 
Um, we haven't built anything in this area yet. So... Screen freeze. Okay, sure. There we go. So this is it. Let's uh, get a little bit of aerial view. So... It's on one of these floating islands out here. And it's really dark, of course. So it makes it hard to see the surrounding area. But... This is where it's at. On the map. So we're, we're kind of right around... What was that? 48 and 76? Or 46, 76? I think it's the bottom of the arrow. Uh, anyway, we're, we're right here. And we're on one of the top mountain. Or top floaty islands. So we're thinking about building a base up here. Now if we go down... We have some stuff down here as well. See, that's where we'll be building up there. And it is really dark. That doesn't help. Does not help at all. There's a bunch of cool stuff though in this area with the floaty islands. Um, this last time I played on this map, this wasn't done yet. A lot of these were just blank islands just floating there, and I don't think there's as many as there is now. So um, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, I'd like to see if we could. Uh, uh, more waterfalls. Get out of a haze, maybe? That's a little bit better. Still kind of dark, but that's a little bit better. There we go. So, yeah, there's like a little fog or clouds or something up there. Um, it's not always like that. It's, it's very, it's clear a lot of times, and it's really pretty. But that's where we're thinking about building a, a base is up there. And then we may utilize some of the flat area below it. For excess dino storage because uh, we wouldn't want all of the dinos up there on that little platform it's not small it's not a small little island but it's not large and uh, just from past experience you know you start putting more and more tame dinos around your base and then uh, you start getting some frame drops and some lag issues so being that we're taming as much as we are already it'd be nice to have a separate little area just for them on the map, I saw some really cool stuff down here in the swamp area. This is something new too that I've never seen before. The last time I played on here, ooh, lag. last time I played, I played on this map. This wasn't even a, a thing, I don't believe. Ooh, what's that? A 560 robot stego. Hmm. We may tame that one. 1 million health, 14 million topar. So, we're probably going to have to hit it, you know, a dozen times. Let's go ahead and tame that. This is an opportunistic tame. We have meat. I think this thing needed mejos last time. I think I tamed it with mejos last time. I might go get some sarco kibble though. I can make a kibble table. And I get some Sarko Kibble. I think I'll do that. I'm going to take a quick cut. I'm going to go get some Kibble for this thing. And we'll come back and we'll possibly tame this one. It's a 560. Yeah, it looks... I'm trying to see the colors on it. It's not the most colorful, but it looks cool. Alright, so let me do that and then I'll be back. Alright. Back out here. We went ahead and we grabbed, made 10 Sarko Cable. Grabbed some Mejos. We also grabbed us Eternal Berries. We'll see what's what. But I think the Sarko Cable will be plenty enough. The 10 that I have. <clears throat> now, 1 million health, 14 million Topar. It will run at one point. I do have to be careful of that. Yeah, let's get you out the way. So let's go ahead and let's uh let's see how much we're doing to it. 
Ow. Let's see, six, eight, one point six. Nice. Now you do need to let it kind of uh, build up between hits. So about nine, ten seconds between hits. Really, whenever you see that cloud disappear, is when you should try to hit it with the next one. Otherwise, it just won't stack as efficiently as it should. So that's what I do when I'm taming these guys that have, especially these guys that have lower health but higher topar, because uh, otherwise you run into an issue of them dying faster than. Uh, then you can knock it out. The last one I tamed, I tamed with the tape jar and I actually had to let it build health back up between pecs because uh, its health was so low compared to the topar that it had and the tape, the tape jar just wasn't doing enough topar versus damage ratio. Alright so we're past halfway, which is good. We're also past halfway in its health, which isn't, which isn't good. But ten and a half million. We only have about three more million to go, so shouldn't be an issue. Should only be about two more pecs, hopefully. Hopefully. All right. So one more should do it. Now I could barrel roll and do the same amount of topar that I'm doing, but I'm doing so I'll be doing so much more damage. All right, everything looks good. Um, can I even get to it? There we go. That's a female. Nice. So let's go ahead and squirt this, this, and this all in its inventory. One cool thing that I'm noticing too with the poison. Prime Pterodon is that when it knocks it out, it makes it super hungry. So I haven't been having to use these right here, these taming potions as much, because uh, I've been knocking things out and it's already been hungry. So it's not that it's not hungry. We're just waiting for the, we're just waiting for Ark now to to realize that it's hungry, so that we can tame this thing. All right. I think we're safe. I don't think I need to get on my pterodon. No, nope, there it goes. It's taming. Uh, 13.8. It must have ate a kibble. Yeah, it ate a kibble. Come on. You're still hungry. Need to eat again. Mm -hmm. It did the same thing when I tamed the other one that I have at the base, the lower level, with Mejos. It uh, would eat a little bit, and then it would stop. And then it would eat a little bit, and then it would stop. So, just a waiting game. But this is the the perks of having this amazing Prime Poison Pterodon. Uh, doing, this is definitely doing the most Topar. <gasps> is that Robot Rex? Look at that. Oh, we may have to tame that one too. You know what? You're taming, right? What do you eat, buddy? Raw prime meat would be fine, or scorpion kibble. Ah, oh, it's a 340. We might tame it. Well, this guy's taming. <laughs> Since that was taking a while. Um, I've seen some robot rexes, but uh, they're out in the dangerous area. So I haven't really messed with them. But I've, that was before I got this guy. So this one should only take about three bites. Because we're doing one and a half, over one and a half million topar. Oh, look, no, we're doing more. Two million. One peck, doing 2.3 mil. Alright, that should knock him out. Go ahead and go fall asleep, buddy. Pretty please. There you go. Knocked out. Look at that. We do, we're doing over two million to this guy on the topars. Oh, we don't have uh, a prime on us. Heck yeah two robot guys today really nice teams um, that other one's really nice it's like almost a 600 but I haven't played around with the robot oh look how fast he's taming you're such a good Rex 
So much better than that stupid stego over there that's taking forever to tame. Um, we might just chill right here and let you tame out, buddy. There you go. One more bite. Yep, there we go. Alright, Robot Rex. Heck yeah. Um, nice. Alright, let's go ahead and pick this guy up. There we go. Yeah, you're a dude. I keep saying guy, and you're a dude this time, so. Pick up. Alright, good. I'd like to see if the Sega was done, or at least close. Oh, it's done. Alright, good. Very nice. Very nice. Really too good. Robot teams. Um, we will try to get a higher level Rex, though. This was a 340, which is more of a, I have to have one now, instead of searching. So let's go ahead and teleport both these guys back to the starter base. So yeah, this prime poison terror is amazing. Um, yeah, we need to get you on passive, buddy. Uh, 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 get rid of the controller. Can I move? Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and throw him off. What's the colors on this one? See the colors, green and dark, aren't that great. Um, there are some really colorful, pretty robot stegos out there. Uh, that there is. Now, my only complaint with these guys is that uh, the Stegos don't move nearly as fast as they do in the wild. But these are really cool. All because of that guy right there. So, I'm going to have to get some saddles, I guess, for the Robot Rex. And I don't think it's anything special. I think it's just a regular saddle. Let's see. Regular saddle. Ah, scratch. Let's go into here. Rex. And um, yeah, it's just be a regular, regular saddle. Okay. We'll check it out real quick. I'm not gonna do the leveling. Um. Not this episode. Um, Rex. There we go. Good. Alright, so we have the saddle. Now we can check it out. Alright. Stego works, unfortunately, just like a Stego. Um gets a little bit of wood thatch, it harvests stuff, berries and whatnot, but it doesn't do any cool moves that I can see. No right click, no C, no X, no control. It would be cool if it had like a lick. Uh, the green does look kind of cool when you're riding it, green and black. Um, it would be cool if it had like a laser or some type of plasma torch or, you know, some type of laser beams or, I don't know. Something tech weapon when you're wise. Or if, uh... You could do some cool special move with them. That would be cool. And it'd be cool if it harvested... Maybe stone or metal. But it, uh... It operates kind of like a regular Stego. It just looks really awesome. So there is that. Damage-wise, it's actually pretty good. Um... We could go over here. Tell you what, let's go ahead and let's pick up this guy, put him on our shoulder. That way we don't have to come all the way back with the Stego. We can uh, ride the Rex after. The damage is pretty good on this. As you can see, stat-wise, uh, the high level that we have, 1.4 million health. The carry weight's amazing. Tons of carry weight. Um, movement speed's at 300%, but this is regular, and this is sprint. Like I said, if it was a little bit faster, or as fast as it was in a while, that would be cool. But, it looks cool. So, I mean, you can't complain too much. It really it really does look nice. Let's see if we can uh, get to this turtle. And I'll show you the damage. It's not... It doesn't do the damage of a vanilla Stego, which is amazing, at least. It does do some decent damage. Oh, did we miss it? No, we missed it. 
Can, can it just hit something? There we go. Look at that. 38,000. So this guy is doing really good damage. So this would be a good uh, a good tank. Has a lot of health. It's going to do a lot of damage. Carry a lot of stuff. We got 38,000. Don't even stand a chance. <laughs> Suck it. So, there's that. It does do crazy amounts of damage, which is amazing. Now, let's go ahead and check out the... There we go. T-Rex real quick. Um, yeah, we need to do passive on you. Ah, yes. So, right click, roar, uh, C, nothing, X, nothing, control, nothing, control, C, no. So, we're going to have a left click. 42,000, goodness gracious. This isn't a max level one, this is only a... It was like a three something that we tamed. Speed wise, this is sprint. So, there's that. Um, I need something else to kill. I'd like to see how his stuff, uh, how his stuff, like, levels up. Let's go to this turtle. Turtle, 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 turtle. Alright. Um, Health-wise, 1.1 million already. Wow. 1.255. 1.377. So that's 120,000 health on a tick. So the four points of melee. We're doing 50-something thousand. I thought we were doing 50-something thousand. Double, double check that because I thought we were doing 50 something thousand maybe I was wrong maybe it's just a turtle what a high defense 49,000 oh I hit it darn it I was trying to avoid hitting it hmm let's put all that in there mm -hmm. yep yep happy Happy Rex. And now, 68,000. Alright, that's nice. I can deal with that. Is that a baby trike? I think it is. Oh. I wonder if this is one of uh, Bowman's Pterodons that he lost. That's just a regular old Pterodon. Yeah. Okay. Level 600 baby Triceratops. Oh, I'm not even going to kill it. Puma must have tamed that and forgot about it. Let's see. 68,000. Can we get over 100 really quick? I don't have any potions on me. Anyway. I think we can see that uh, this guy, if you get a nice level one, will be uh, doing some really good damage. So that'll be our next thing I'm going to do on our agenda is get maybe uh, close to 600 or max level Rex that way we can uh, see how much damage we're doing with that so I'm gonna wrap the episode up here guys hopefully you enjoyed it um, the pterodons amazing these robot dinos are pretty amazing and uh, yeah all in all a good day so if you enjoyed what you saw don't forget to smash the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't subscribed already Feel free to share the video as you see fit. And as always, we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.